You want to come with me? <laughs> I was so excited to see this staircase in real life. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Wrestle Living channel. My name is Christian Tramberdag and today we're yet again on the Danish peninsula of Jutland where we have something truly special to show you guys. So this house is an extremely detail-oriented contemporary home where it's taken its inspiration from Japanese principles of simplicity and minimalism. And what does that mean? Well, it means that anything non-essential has simply just been cut off. The house was uh, designed by Tommy Ran and he actually bought the property seven years ago. Back then, there was an old house on the plot here from 1877 and it was kind of dilapidated so it was just waiting to be teared down but at least the plot was green and there was great distance to neighboring houses but yeah enough talk let's just head inside and check the rest of the house out welcome look at this entrance you know when i saw images first of this project i was so excited to see this staircase in real life Wow. Truth be told, I'm not disappointed. Absolutely insane. If you look closely, you can see that the staircase is made of 630 CNC cut plywood pieces. The crazy part was that everything had to be assembled right here on the spot. Oh, even if you look up here, you can even see you know the skylight that is just directing light down and basically making this yeah a sculpture you know it's basically like the definition of combining simplicity and sculpture we're a little bit unconventional so i think instead of starting downstairs with the tour i think we should just head upstairs i really love how the curvature is basically fading out as the spiral comes to an end so you can see it's not just like a normal spiraling staircase that just ends here. It basically flattens out and becomes, yeah, a straight pathway. Master bedroom. Very simple. Gosh, this is the only thing that is up here. It's kind of like, a, yeah, what, 50 shades of gray, you know, Mr. Gray's dungeon. You just have a complete private area here master bedroom master bathroom wow <laughs> i told you that we needed to see something truly special today and i mean look at this frame glass how huge it is then you can really you know take a bath and enjoy oh, the beautiful green nature, the crowns of the trees. Wow. Oh, gosh, it was wet. I'm all wet. <laughs> Details. As you might have noticed by now, there is this really strong material concept. The oak, of course, led by the oak, the natural slate from Norway, and then of course the concrete from downstairs. And I think in this case, then it really makes sense, you know, to have a glass shower, because when you're standing in here, it would almost be sad if you couldn't see the views. In the best Mr. Grey style, the master bedroom leads straight out to a rooftop. I mean, if you saw from downstairs, you couldn't really see that there is a rooftop terrace. Because these walls, you know, are basically just extruded out 
and then it just from downstairs at least it looks like it's just part of the wall but here you have like this small oasis it's very simple and there's not so much you know furniture and so on but i think that is really important because it really makes you look out and experience you know this beautiful green area the trees the birds chipping amazing <laughs> i'm not going home i'm staying right here <laughs> ah let's go let's go <laughs> the skylight look at how much light it's actually projecting down on the staircase and how the materiality is really getting to shine here. The contrast between this in situ concrete wall and then, you know, you have the rawness and the honesty of the concrete bouncing back and forth with the very soft, refined, delicate plywood staircase. And actually this concrete wall was built from casting plates that was used for industrial use for old industrial buildings. So for this house, these plates just had to be used one last time. And here the result is beautiful, right? Let's go. I'd say that this is the kitchen, but it almost feels like that you're basically walking outside again. Look at this panoramic window. Wow one piece here you can really immerse yourself with nature the oak here it just follows it's just one piece that has been cut out for the individual drawers but you can see the veins of the tree is continuing completely seamless because yeah it is one piece you also have this induction stove right but why is there no extractor hood well, it would of course disrupt the view. So you just remove that, integrate it here, and then you have a completely unobstructed view towards the trees outside. Of course, when you have these massive concrete blocks, it can sometimes become a little bit cold, but when you're then using all this soft wood, soft oak, it just brings a lot of warmth, a lot of atmosphere to the kitchen and to the spaces. I mean, here you might even be able to see it way better. Wait. <laughs> I think that was, the, that was the, the fridge. <laughs> but here you can really see the veins, you know, continuing over here. Love that detail. The great thing about this ceiling is each of these slats have been distributed so that it can fit exactly these light spots. So you cannot really notice them when they're turned off, but then when you then turn them on, it gives a very tempered light. Following the same concept, you know, with materials, you even have it with the furniture as well, oak table, oak dining table. And then you have these five lamps. And as you see, you know, they are different heights, different sizes basically like the five cubes that this house consists of. I think that's really interesting, you know, to make this interplay and this relationship between the different elements and basically, yeah, referencing the decoration towards the architecture itself. Talking about references, a painting of a tree house. I don't know about you, but I feel like that's the kind of feeling that I get from being in here, that you are in a tree house. Because no matter where you look, no matter what window that you're looking out at, you're seeing trees. Upstairs, you saw the crown of the trees. Here, you see the lower part. So again, references on point. You wanna come with me? <laughs> Sliding doors that can separate kitchen and living room. Very contained, again, you know, the decorative elements, as Tommy says, 
it's not really necessary. You rather want this raw space with some calm elements to break and create a cozy atmosphere. To basically, you know, replace one of these living room walls, you have this built-in bookcase. Of course, of oak again, specifically designed for this house. Even though you can still see the concrete wall, it just really magnifies the relationship between space and function. There's a small bonsai. Well, of course it's small, it's a bonsai. Another one of these references to Japan, having these small things, small decorative elements that just highlights personality, highlights something of affection. Just like the lamps you know, in the kitchen, you have a shape that is almost the same with the fireplace, suspended, simple and minimalistic. Part of the architecture, a corner window, giving a little bit more perspective, right? And then with, of course, what other than oak frames, it gives a little bit more dynamic touch, you know, to the architecture and the feeling of the light that comes in. You cannot say that the house is boring, that's for sure. All right, let's just get outside. just opening completely up. So you see this huge concrete foundation. It's basically one huge square where each of the five blocks have been put on and then the blocks are basically put out to the sides. So one corner of the concrete block is dedicated to the terrace. As you can see here, there's also the Norwegian natural slate that continues here from the kitchen to the outside, having this seamless transition. Oh. <laughs> Love these kinds of furniture, <laughs> being restless about it. Here you can see how big the windows actually are. The bottom one being the kitchen window, and then if you remember, the bathroom window is the one in the top. On the other side here, there's nothing. And it also creates these contrasts and makes sure that you also get to notice the beautiful bricks of the exterior clad wall. I don't know anything about trees to be frank, but a lot of Danish trees around. And then you have Japanese maple trees. Japanese bonsai. You know, it might be Denmark, but we have a little bit of Japan right here in this beautiful oasis. But let's go over here. The owner Tommy, he is a carpenter, so he knows how to work with wood. And as you can see, maybe this doesn't look like the most impressive build and looks kind of random, but that was the whole idea of this little kid's cave up in the tree, because he wanted to make it look like that it was the kids that built it themselves. <laughs> This is first and last time that I'm gonna do this. I don't feel like it's so safe. It probably is when it's built by a carpenter, but yeah. <laughs> the garage match the car, or the car match the garage, whatever comes first. <laughs> you know, that's the kind of detail that this house is about. 
there is no thought that has been spared. You see all those playful elements that is basically contrasting the very straight defined lines. It's just a very interesting house. Anyhow, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tour as much as I enjoyed walking around exploring it. As always, smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and then I'll see you soon. Bye.